Justin Algar comes up one spot short. I know you were frustrated with some of that lap traffic there. What more did you need? Uh, I just had a couple of errors today that, that really kept us from racing with a 54 there. But hats off to Ty, did a great job. And this team, you know, our brand French and culture command was really good all day. And we chose to play the right strategy. We gave up some points, I think, to the to the um, in the regular season points, but I think it was the right strategy. And you know, it just I picked it wrongly on one of the restarts, and that was just kind of the difference maker. But all in all, a good day. Um, hot day, but but a good day, and proud of our team, proud of the effort. We'll go on next week to uh, Watkins Glen, I guess, and hopefully go to Victory Lane there. I heard you tell Jason Burdett on the radio at the end of the race, it's not fun coming off pit lane behind guys that pitted after you. I know you had a slow last stop. How do you alleviate issues like that? Well, it wasn't necessarily the guys that we came out behind that um, pitted in front of us. It was, it was, I pitted to try and get clear of some lap cars. And unfortunately, we merged back on the racetrack right behind those same lap cars right before they made their pit stop. So not only did we have to contend with getting by them, as soon as we got by them, they all pitted. So just uh, disappointing, but, you know, that's just how this goes. That's how the sport is. Huge thanks to all of our partners, um, obviously, Andrew Gennon, Shop Chevrolet, Xfinity for all they do for the sport. It's uh, second place. You know, second place is tough, but uh, my daughter's birthday is on Monday, so we'll, we'll celebrate even though it's the second. Happy birthday, Harper. Thank you. That's Justin Algar, B2 no, finish here at Finish.